Brazilian city of Belo Horizonte. This is the Mineral, the home of two proud footballing institutions, Cruzeiro and Atletico Mineiro. The teams then, Denmark against Australia. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. I'm ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Denmark have chosen to go 4-3-3. Yeah, it allows for an expansive passing game, and with everyone doing their job properly, it can be difficult to contain. the whistle and here we go tries to get it forward quickly now the pass now here's the through ball Jedinak Robbie Cruz Jedinak dinks one in and now the finish shoots Kasper Schmeichel trying to get there, muffed it into the middle. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Turns and goes back, floats one over. Out wide to the right. He's got away. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Time to deliver. He's gone out for a throw in. is one in great leap and oh he's got that completely wrong split it wide now here's the through ball chance to play it in forward it goes is on the back foot. Going through. Has a hit! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Poulsen might possibly be accused of a little selfishness, but his endeavour was to be admired. Denmark have grabbed this game by the scruff of the neck and aren't letting go. Into the channel. Swung in towards the middle. And it's Cruz. Knocks it in gently. Not offside that time. His anticipation is good, Peter, but his timing isn't. He read the situation and then went and spoiled it. Doesn't get the pass, he shakes the shoots. He's got away with one there. That's what all good teams do these days. Pressing from the front is highly effective. Tries a through ball. A oh, sweet feet from him there. Looks to clip it forward. And he's cut it out. Jedinak. Robbie Cruz. Maybe goalless, but it is not without interest. Yeah, those longer balls forward are definitely having more of an impact, something that should have been resorted to before now. Good challenge, he just stood firm. That's not going to make it. It's got through. Up he gets! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. He's got away. Robbie Cruz. Hoists it high.
Nicholson. Ericsson. Coaxed out to the wing. Passes it through. Played into the middle. Too long and over the line. Robbie Cruz battles to win it back. He's through now, is he in? Short, he's gone for it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. back like that always appreciated by the crowd you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here Yedinak charges in Ericsson oh that's neat Come loose. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And the half-time whistle goes. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Game has already resumed here. So deadlock still as the second half begins. And the shot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Poulsen certainly made himself a big nuisance in applying the pressure to force the error. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Puts the big one in. out in the nick of time tries to get it forward quickly tries to stroke it through that's put paid to a promising move where to from here deftly done he'll have a dip Poulsen. looks to thread it through Stupid defending to ensure they got no further. Tries lifting it over. The shot's on! That is wayward. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably... Cautionary, uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. 60 minutes played. Well, into the second half. Is it in? Saved only by poor finishing. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and what they've got to realise, Peter, is that they won't get away with excessive force for long, so they're running a fine line there. They blow and direct. Robbie Cruz lobs it in gently. For Schmeichel sends that a long way. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. And that's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing.
forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Behind for a corner kick. And that's been levered clear. Ericsson's delivered. Gets his head to it. And another time. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Denmark take the lead. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Deftly done. Australia are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Looks to slip it through. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Dashing, big chance, must be! He's had a go! Really well taken goal. A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Denmark get themselves a two-goal cushion. Denmark with a quick-fire double to put them in a very comfortable position at 2-0. And the weighted pass. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Denmark have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. He's left his man. He's a clever puck. Hits one! It's a goal! With so little time left, grandstand finish! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before, and no doubt they'll work it again. Australia give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Cuts it out. Denmark probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Just brushed off the ball there. Looks like a good ball through. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. And it's Cruz. Big chance! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper... And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Denmark win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it, perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin.
Assistance applying to the box, it brings excitement and entertainment.